everybody, Darkrush67 here with my video on how to beat spammers uh, with legit uh, play, well, for the most part. Uh, Alright, so my first spammer is a Danzo spammer, and the reason I picked uh, Kakuzu for this particular spam is because I had already fought this guy once before, and I had lost. And the reason I had lost was because his pressure was extremely uh, well played. Uh, but however, obviously, I'm not going to lose right a, a second time, because I usually adapt very easily to people's gameplay. So as you can see, I'm, I'm going to do pretty well against him the second time. But the idea is um, to beat any type of spammer is to shuriken pressure. That's why I chose Kakuzu, uh, mainly because his shuriken pressure uh, is his shuriken are very fast. Therefore, obviously, it's gonna. Chances are that he won't be able to see it coming, or it'll do a bit of damage, and uh, that's always good. But um, if you fight like a, a spammer like this Donzo right here, which is, he's kind of like close range, or se mostly close range, semi-long range, uh, depends on depends on how you see it. But anyways, uh, the idea is um, when you see when you see that this guy uh, starts getting close, keep supports like, um, like, like what I have, Pain, uh, Hidan, uh, anything that keeps... Uh, your support away uh, or like gives you a chance to recover that's always a good support to have in mind now if you pick someone like uh, I don't know first Hokage support I mean it's okay but his support his jutsu is kind of slow and the problem with it is you might not hit and anyway be smart with your supports and you might just get something like this So anyways, that's basically how to beat a, a um, Danzo Spammer. And now, Tsuchikage. Tsuchikage is a little bit harder, probably one of the hardest ones, maybe top three, I would say, to beat. Uh, the reason I picked Pain was because it was fast shuriken. Uh, I'll be honest with you, Pain, I, would, I expected him to do much better against Tsuchikage because of his almighty push. But unfortunately, Tsuchikage's rocks have priority over everything, so maybe not... Um, Tsuchikage, uh, uh, maybe not Spain, but pick another character to fight Tsuchikage. In fact, I've beaten Tsuchikage uh, with Karim, so <laughs> not much to worry about. Um, it, it all depends on your pressure, uh, how you pressure. Stay away. Um, don't be afraid. Uh, I know a lot of people want to beat them legit, or, but for those of you who don't want to beat them or don't really care about legit play, um, I mean, by all means, stay away. Uh, spam your grab, um, keep him away from you. Uh, if you run or if you get just a little damage off, that's fine. Uh, who cares? As you can see, like even though I dash you one right there, he subbed it and his rocks automatically took priority, uh, which kind of sucks, but whatever. Uh, the whole idea is keep him pressured. Make sure he's not able to recharge his chakra. If he does recharge his chakra, Stay away, or go close and uh, fake him. Um, do like a not not what he calls not a hat trick, but trick him into um, into using his jutsu and then run away or jump to the side, something like that. Um, try to keep your subs to a limit. Um, try to do unexpected moves like that move right there. Um, but the whole idea is keep him under pressure. Make sure he doesn't. He's not able to charge his chakra. Because if he's not able to charge his chakra, he can't use those bloody rocks, and then he's useless. As you can see right there, he tried to do the rocks, but he couldn't. So he he always runs away to do. Um, now this is uh, actually I would say one of the weaker mass um, Tsuchikage spammers that I fought, but nonetheless uh, he did know how to spam pretty well. So I did add it to include it in my video. But anyways, um, the whole idea again repeat the same process which is stay away from him make sure you you drain his subs stay away fake him into doing this in, into subbing and then after that um when you see that he has no sub lefts or low subs go in do something like a tilt like that or a combo and then make sure your chakra levels are always high though and then you can finish him off with it with a nice attack like this and that basically concludes uh, the battle versus the Tsuchikage. But be careful. Sometimes they pick uh, those Tsuchikage players that pick generic supports with um, what's her name there? His his granddaughter and the fat the freaking fat guy there with the golem. 
uh, be careful because slowing you down uh, it, it, it does change the battle so just keep that in mind if you are slowed down oftentimes it can change everything so my third uh, spammer is a Danzo spammer oh I mean uh, sorry a masked man spammer <laughs> my bad and the reason why I picked Danzo was because again fast shuriken however as you can see as you can tell by my supports I'm not planning on spamming him uh, however, when you see an, uh, an opportunity like this, and you're fighting a spammer, that his shield is down, and you have high chakra, don't be afraid to um, hit him with your U2 or your U3. Don't don't be afraid. I mean, it's it's not against the law. If they spam, I, I find you have every right to, um, and you're trying to play legit. I feel you have, well, in my opinion, every right to spam or not even spam. Use that. Uh, use an ultimate on them. It, it doesn't really matter. Now the idea is with Donzo. Uh, not even with Anzo, with anybody, uh, when you're fighting a mass man, stay away. Don't do any stupid moves, because if, if you if you go too close, uh, he might... Something like this might happen, okay? And your shield will break, okay? If you're not ready, and he'll grab you, and then blah blah blah. Or he'll just hit another jutsu, or if he's smart, he'll use like PTS Tenten, and he'll hit you while, you're, while your, gu your guard is down. Anyway, the whole idea is... When he, when you know he's gonna spam that, jump. Simply jump and move to the side. Because honestly, a stupid mass man spammer. This guy had a pretty good record, if I'm not mistaken. His record was uh, was pretty good. It was something like 500 and uh, 500 wins and uh, 150 losses and like, but like five rage quits, of course. But anyways, the whole idea is, when you get him close to you, try to send him away. Like use the bomb, use a bomb, use a use pain support. But you don't have to, of course stay away now if you if you see that you're losing the battle don't hesitate go into awakening oftentimes it does help like in this particular case my donzo's my don going into awakening with donzo does help now i try not to, to use the jutsu too much but because i realized because he came out of awakening he was going to be very uh, you know weak because you take double damage when you come out of awakening so i finished him off with a nice little combo there for you guys but anyway the idea is Pressure with Shuriken, stay away from Masked Man, because if you get Masked Man too close to you, then you're just about finished. So pick supports like Hidan, um, maybe uh, Kimimaro, um, Pain, he, um, not Hinata, because her Jutsu can't really counter pain, uh, his U1, Masked Man's U1. So use stuff, uh, like I said, like that. Now, here we go. Probably the hardest character to beat in the game. I have ne I have not I've yet to figure out a way to beat this guy without spam. The only way I'm able to beat this guy is with my masked man. And it, as if you know me well, I, he is my best character. So um, TJ Flo is one of the best in the world. In fact, I believe he's ranked eighth in the world or something like that. And uh, so. As you can see, he's not letting me breathe. The whole idea is keep throwing shuriken because the shuriken it hits him, and it uh, stops him from being able to uh, to attack to do his tilt. But obviously, if you run low on subs and you see he's coming towards you, you see that as you can as you can see that my shuriken knocked down his puppet. However, be careful. If you see something like that, use use your sub. Don't overuse your sub. If you overuse your sub against this guy, he's going to freaking own you. And that's exactly why his losses are very low. This guy does not rage quit. He does not rage quit. He's not a freaking wimp. He's in my clan. I have a lot of respect for him. Um, it's not that... I mean, obviously, he's he plays the game to win. So for those of you who hate him or dislike him, uh, he plays to win. And he definitely is one of the hardest people I have to beat. So kudos to you, TJ. But um, anyways, he doesn't the idea is, don't let him breathe either. You see the U1, the problem with it is, he, if you fight someone like TJ or maybe kill saucer haters, but who cares, that guy wiped off the face of the earth, and you use your one at ran, your U1 at random, uh, chances are that he will know how to counter it and he will just sub it. But the idea is, be unpredictable. Use a grab, dash grab. Usually that's unpredictable, right? And at this point, I got him. I got him into a nice combo. Two ninjutsu. Two out of the way and then after that make him sub and pressure him keep pressuring him now when you see he's gonna tilt the jutsu that his u1 basically um mass man's u1 cannot be blocked cannot be stopped by the tilt so keep your chakra levels up when you see that he's gonna tilt hit him 
Try to corner him with your tilt and get the Tsuchikage or uh, De Orgara. See? Right there he tilted and that's how I beat him because I knew he was going to tilt. So I said this is going to end the battle. And that's basically how you... I, I Be careful because PTS Conqueror Spam is probably one of the hardest ones to beat. So if you have a hard time with it, uh, I suggest avoiding it. But if you want to take a chance and get some good points, I mean, look at here, right here, I got some pretty good points right there. Uh, but if you want to take a chance, like I said, go right ahead. It doesn't, uh, it gives you good points. Next battle, um, PTS Kiba Spam. Now again, I'm going back to legit now, so I picked Sakura with some generic supports. Now, when it comes to generic supports, always pick someone that is good at destroying, I'm um, destroying, I would say, um, taking out your um, your opponent's guard. So, like that, um, they're prone to like a dash, an air dash, and it destroys the shield, and you're, they, they're, they're uh, prone to an awakening, I mean not an awakening, an ultimate or a jutsu, and it could, it could change the tide of the battle. Now this guy had something like 250 wins and 15 losses, and thankfully he didn't rage quit me. Now be careful, every single um, PTS Kiba spammer is going to sub your combo and you want it. Now it's very very dangerous his U1, okay? His U1 is ba basically unsubbable, okay? Barely unsubbable, especially when you're doing a combo. Now as you can see, um, when you, you have to be prepared for it, so like expect it. Uh, as you can see over here, I picked supports that... Um, uh, I picked, uh, what do you call it, uh, Chi uh, Choji, Choji and, um, what's his name? Uh, yeah, Kiba, <laughs> regular Kiba, because regular Kiba has really good supports, now the idea is, I always do that, I always throw a little bit of shuriken to trick them into subbing, that, that causes them to come back on the ground, and then after that, I grab them right away, so they can't do anything, and that, that put me in the lead of this game, now, the idea is, once, once you see you're winning, and you feel like still playing, uh, well then uh, by all means go for combos, but that leaves you prone to that. So be very careful. Uh, don't use, um, how can I say this? Don't use uh, support, don't use characters that are slow. PTS Choji for example. Uh, again, maintain pressure. Shuriken pressure is always good. Uh, get his chakra low. Uh, Stuff like that. Break his guard. Uh, use items like Sakura's down item, which destroys people's guard. Double damage on guard. Or, for example, if I'm not mistaken, I believe uh, people like third, first, the third Hokage have it too. Now, when you see that you have no subs, be careful because you're prone to something like this. And I almost lost because of this guy, but it's okay. In the end, I will uh, pull through. Don't you worry. The idea is uh, stop him from doing his jutsu or make him waste his jutsu. Give yourself a, give him uh, an opening that you think uh, he will take, but don't over predict because if you over predict, the opponent might catch on, and he will um, obviously counter it, and he might get you, and that could cost you the game. So the idea is not to make a bad move. Always play vigilant when you're playing against a particular spammers like these. Um, yes. So uh, make sure all your moves are covered somehow, covered by a support. Like as you see there, I uh, just did Sakura's U1, and it was covered by Choji, for example. Now even chip damage, don't freaking worry about chip damage, okay? Like, nobody ever... You still win if you get chip damage, you understand? So the idea is maintain chip damage, maintain damage, pressure, pressure, pressure. And right there, the pressure made me basically win the battle. Now, don't be afraid to run away because then all they can do is freaking sit there and do nothing. So that, this is one of the, probably some one of the best I've ever fought, but I have fought better. But just, just the idea is... Pressure, always with the shuriken. Um, try to, like I said, fake your moves. Okay, make them think you're doing something, but then do something else and try to over. Be one step ahead, one step ahead, one step ahead. That's the idea. Now I have a, a couple of friends that say, um, uh, I need help with data spam. Okay, data spam is useless just like it was in storm 2 uh, noobs complain about the data spam and that's okay but here I'm showing you ways data spam is prone to two things regular um, dash or just chakra dash fake him into lowering his subs okay this guy had something like uh, 50 wins and 10 losses and trick him into doing his um, into using up all his subs excuse me 
trick him into using all his uh, all his subs and then when you see when you see a point uh, when you see a point of tension or whatever you want to call it start start using your combo and then that's about it and but there's one thing you have to understand when you're fighting data run. don't underestimate because right there I did not charge my chakra fully as you can see I mean yeah I got that grab off but try not to um, even if it's a data spammer try not to overthink I mean if you better safe than sorry right because if you have full chakra chances are you will be better at beating the guy right so the whole idea is try not to there I did a misclick so for those of you who are wondering I did do a misclick see right there I got I was too low on chakra so there was a mistake there and I couldn't dash and he got like that much health off of me but that's okay um, the idea is data or spam even if they go into awakening his awakening is very prone to spam uh, to chakra uh, not chakra but regular shuriken so if you regular shuriken spam him uh, he's kind of finished now I know this isn't the best example of a data spam because I kind of did a few mistakes, but the idea is um, don't waste your subs on his freaking uh, on his shuriken, and I probably could have done better, but the whole point is of course now there I guess he wasn't expecting that, but the whole point uh, is keep shuriken pressure because chakra shuriken and shuriken destroy his shur his uh, his uh, little whatever spam that you want to call his birds, okay? Same thing with Shino. Uh, but I, I would have to say Shino's a bit easy, a bit harder to beat, and so so is Ten Ten. But something like Datara is really nothing too hard. Most prof most pros or people that have played in Storm Two know how to beat uh, Datara. But for those of you who are beginners and don't know how, just uh, follow the steps that I showed. Finally, um, I'm going to show you guys um, Akiba spam. I know a lot of people have trouble with. Um, Kiba spam. Uh, I picked Kakashi for the Kibas for Kiba, particularly because, well, everybody knows that Kakashi has fast shuriken as well. But uh, which was ironic because this guy at the end of the video he told me he wasn't spamming, but whatever. You guys be the judge of that. He probably wasn't the worst spammer of all time. I think I've seen. Yeah, I have probably have seen worse. But anyway, the whole idea is Kiba spam. Unfortunately, again, same concept with Mass Man jump. <laughs> Uh, pressure uh, with the shuriken because that makes him lose his chakra. Make him again, fake him into doing moves at the same time. Uh, dash grab, dash grab with Kakashi works very good, of course. Um, if you can predict grabs from a dash, that's always good too. Uh, what else? Um, if you see your, your 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 barrier, if you see your barrier is or oh, your barrier, your shield is um, red, stay away. Stay away and pressure with chakra, but stay away and use your supports to give you cover. Stay away, don't be afraid to take damage, back dash if you have to. Just stay away from him because what he's gonna do is he's gonna, he's gonna end up just freaking spamming you with shuriken and then eventually, uh, I mean spamming you with his U1 and then eventually break through it and cause a strike back and possibly a uh, U1, U2, whatever. So the whole idea, um, keep behind your supports obviously and again keep pressure don't make him recharge his chakra that's the whole idea when fighting spammers try not to make them recharge your chakra and another good thing to do is to get his subs down so every once in a while uh, trick him and uh, do a move that you he wouldn't expect you to do like let's say you've been throwing shuriken for a while uh, suddenly dash in and start comboing him and he'll freak out and obviously he's gonna sub 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 panic 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 and uh, be, always pick guard support, guard and attack, because as you can see there, uh, I charged Kakashi's um, lightning blade, and it became obviously lightning beast running, as you all know. And because he dashed at me, and Mass Man got in the way because of the guard, I was able to attack and hit him, and he didn't expect it. So that's the whole um, idea. But don't use it too much, because of course um, it can be predictable, and people will um, destroy you <laughs> because of it. Um, so yeah, that's basically about it. Then if you see that you're winning, uh, try not to go in too much, because um, uh, obviously you risk uh, losing. Uh, but of course, if they combo like this guy, well then you might be lucky. But uh, anyway, I believe this was a close match, but just the same. All in all, uh, spammers are are pretty weak too. Um, sure, you can pressure jumping. <laughs> uh, timing of your supports, uh, unpredictable movements, uh, if you make unpredictable moves, 95% of the time they don't know what to expect, but um, 
so that usually gets you the win. So that's that's about it. I'm about to beat this guy here. Um, always keep your chakra gauge up. That's another thing. If you don't keep your chakra gauge up, you will um, lose. Uh, because I just today I lost to a guy. He had like I ha he had like two HP left, and I was losing. I had barely any chakra left, and he actually made a big comeback, and I lost. So yeah, that's about it, and uh, yeah, I guess uh, that's it for the spams.